people of the internet, it is Friday. So this is gonna be a longer. I found it, mommy. Oh, you found it? Today's Friday, so this vlog's gonna be a couple days, huh? Yeah. Yeah, what are we about to do? I'm um, gonna do that. The advent calendar? Yes. Yeah. Yes? It's your turn today, huh? You excited? So she's not going to. N no, she's not. It's your turn. She'll go tomorrow. Alrighty, we are on the 14th of December. What did you get? This. <gasps> Ooh. Now you can put the KMI's part too. And then you can put it back together. Huh. Now we both have one. And then we will fight over this one. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Huh? This little one's doing good this morning too, huh? You're just wide awake hanging out. Are you just hanging out? We're doing homeschool and I sat down to do this and uh, we're doing, this book is a kindergarten book so I told Rev she couldn't just choose a page because not everything in here she's able to do quite yet. And I said, because this one's a little more and I paused thinking for a word and I said difficult. And she said, what word did you say? Complicated. She said complicated. <laughs> what the heck almost four year old is saying the word complicated? I don't need to use four for the Good job. You got a good vocabulary girl. Okay, so this one we're gonna talk about how the color of the rainbow and the order it goes in. Okay? Okay. So this is a look at the chart below. <coughs> color each part of the rainbow using the chart. And do you recognize? Which this one? It starts with a y sound. So what color starts with a y? Yo yo! You, no, no, not what color starts with a yes sound. Yo yo does though, very good. How about blue? Yeah. Red, we're looking for a yuck. Yeah. Okay, what about? Yellow. Exactly, okay. So this says what number is supposed to be yellow? One. No, look at this. Yellow is number what? <laughs> Beth, look down. Number what? This one. What number is it? Three. Good job. Okay, so you color that line, only that line, yellow. So, all right, what letter is that? That is in purple. Exactly, I didn't even have to tell you. Good job. This is really hard. It is a little harder, okay? Sometimes we gotta do things that are a little more difficult, because that's how we learn. We're not always gonna know the answers. If you always know the answer, you're not learning anything. Okay. So you pointed to this one and you told me that this one was green. Why did you think that that was green? Because green is always right here. Right next there. to yellow? Yeah. Exactly, okay, so what number is that right there? Four. Okay, so which one over here says green then, if that's a four? Okay. Think about it, if this says four, where on the, on the chart over here does it say green? This one. It says four. Where's the where's the number four? So that says green. What sound does red start with? No, what sound does red start with? Red. Red. What letter makes a r sound? I don't know. No. Oh. R, yes, exactly. Okay, okay what sound sour, does yes. blue start with? Oh, exactly, and what letter is that? Yeah. B. Yes, and the number? Five. Good, so color and five. You're doing so good. As you can see, Ryan is off work, and we are totally kidless, which Ooh. is the first time that both of us together have been totally kidless. Whoa. I've, I've been kidless out and about before, but, but this and first time, too. yes. This first time that we're kidless together because we're running out to get an ethernet cable to run upstairs. We decided we're gonna run a, a hard line from our like box or whatever upstairs just for internet purposes and it'll make it a lot easier on my mom um, so she'll have better internet access. So we got that and then we need to get diapers because I keep forgetting to order um, Rensley's diaper subscription 
and so now we're in need of diapers and shipping isn't gonna get here in time so I did place that order so it's done you don't have to worry about it but we have to go get at least just one thing of diapers for her <laughs> so we're gonna go and do that um, and we're gonna get Taco Bell KFC for everybody because Ryan's parents are coming over tonight Woo! my parents are at home right now with all of the children <laughs> so we're gonna go though have fun at Target and Best Buy find an Ethernet cable finding diapers and then we're gonna spend a heck of a lot of time probably at Taco Bell waiting for our food to be done. Oh yeah. Cause Taco Bell is always super slow here, unfortunately. That's right though. Do you sure you'd wanna get just a single? Will that be enough or will we be coming back? I'd say you're probably better off just getting a big thing and then uh, oh, yeah, they'll get used at some point. It is now officially Saturday morning. Um, and yes, sweetheart, we're ready now. The girls got some smoothies. Got smoothies for everybody else, but Ariana has some, some stuff. Yeah. These. You. Ready. You're welcome. Wow, what is it's that? It's a penguin. You're right. Cuddle and Kind sent those to you. That was very nice of them, huh? Oh, careful. You don't want to spill it. Oh. Wow, what is it? Uh, I can't know. <laughs> it's a unicorn. It's a baby. unicorn. Just like you like the unicorn pajamas, it's a unicorn. I know you like two unicorn pajamas and unicorn pajamas on. They are not just your typical stuffed animal company. Every single animal that is purchased, they actually give 10 meals to children in need. And then also every animal is handmade and they are made in fair trade facilities. So you know that the people that are making these animals are getting paid fairly and are getting treated the right way. Um, and so that's really important. That's actually something I've been doing a lot of research and learning more about is fair trade. And then along with that, one of my goals for 2019 is once I get to a healthy weight, I want to have a capsule wardrobe. So I'm gonna finally focus in on that and I want all of like my clothing to be fair trade. So of course when they reached out to me to send the girls a couple dolls, I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Like I love what they stand for. I love that they are making sure that those that are making the dolls for them are getting treated correctly. Um, and so it's definitely a company that we can stand behind. And I love that every single purchase you make, one, these dolls are beautiful. Um, they have smaller versions too and then bigger versions and there's so many different animal choices. So I'll have all the links though down below for you guys. Um, so make sure to go check them out if you're interested. The girls are pretending to play in the snow and trying to catch snow in their mouth. And Rev's taking a picture of Ari trying to catch snow in her mouth. Yeah, you do it, Ari. You're so cute. Hold it this way, Ari. When you take a picture of me, hold it. Hold it down for bed and I had to tell you guys it would seem Aerie might be switching loyalties on her uh, best friend and she is taken to this unicorn way more than I thought she would like she was carrying it everywhere with her tonight it's it's cute and I'm gonna be interested to see how the relationship progresses from here <laughs> but we'll see you guys tomorrow morning or afternoon either before or after church it is now Sunday afternoon, but it is gorgeous. It's like mid 50s. And uh, we're just kind of hanging out outside. Ariana just had some something or other. Soy vanilla dairy free yogurt. I decided to try the soy one this time, so I've been trying to lay off the nuts with Wednesday. It's actually really good. I don't know why I figured it would be gross. Well, soy always scared me until we went plant based, and now it does not scare me at all. Gotcha. No, they're really good. Tastes very similar to the almonds. Maybe it's a We still have all the insulation sitting here. I was really hoping that by the end of the weekend we would be like totally insulated with everything else uh, done, but I don't think that's gonna happen. See you in the car. And I see you in the driveway. 
getting some more. Oh, look at that. Pretty much already done with this wall. Well, good evening, guys. I am currently in bed with this little one who's pretty upset. So she's still as of a half hour ago had not gone to the bathroom. I know you guys are really interested in this Will Rensley poop saga. That's the joy of having a lot of flood fam that are also mothers in like the same age range as us. You totally get the excitement of poop when you have kids. So we tried a lot of stuff. I did do the one ounce of prune juice, didn't do any more after that. We did stomach um, like uh, massages, bicycle kicks, baths, warm baths. Um, I She's on a probiotic, I'm on a probiotic. Um, so we finally had to go the glycerin suppository route because the last time she had pooped was two Wednesdays ago, which would have made today day 11. So that's just too long for her to be going, especially because she's very visibly upset and has you know an upset tummy. So within like minutes of doing the glycerin spot story though, she did go. She definitely hasn't gotten it all out. By the way, they're working upstairs if you can't tell. Um, but since I did that, she just wants to be my mommy. She didn't like, which I don't blame her. No one wants to get something put up their butt. <laughs> she didn't like it. And so I'm not editing tonight. I'm just kind of cuddling her extra. That is why this vlog was late. Or maybe I ended up skipping a day. Because I'm taking care of this little one. You know, I'm trying my best to do vlogmas. But family... This one always comes first. And I am so sorry, sweetheart. Got your eyes open now, huh? Apparently, I forgot to actually end the vlog last night. Should have done that. Um, she's much better, though, today. She's doing great. She slept really well last night. So I'm glad that as much as I didn't want to have to go that route with her, that it worked right away. And she obviously needed it because she slept way better last night than she has in, like, seven days, probably. And she's typically a really good sleeper. But... Anywho, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. We're on to our last full week. I can't believe Christmas is only like eight days away. That's crazy. Um, let me know, what are your plans for Christmas? Are you guys doing anything fun and exciting? What do you have planned to like make for dinner or breakfast that day? Um, I wanna know. Let us know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. If you did, give a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you are new and we will see your wonderful faces tomorrow. Bye. Sometimes I, I can't breathe.